Hey everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a shopping haul video. I feel like I haven't done one for ages, so I know when I do my vlogs, I feature things that I have, you know, bought when I've been out shopping, etc. But it's not the same as actually just sitting here with you and doing an actual shopping haul. So yeah, that is what I'm doing today. Hope you enjoy watching and uh, if you do, please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I'm doing live streams and also when I've uploaded new videos. Um, it's so cold by the way. I have uh, a t-shirt on under here and then I just got super cold. I was about to film this video so I put my um my sweater over the top but yeah it's got really cold all of a sudden anyway so um basically in this haul these are things that I've kind of purchased recently so they're not all things that you know I've got like today or anything it, these are things that I've just like kind of got recently and I've kind of just got them all together so I can do a, a shopping haul video for you uh sorry my hair looks a total mess um so yeah, I'm just going to kind of get started. I've got a bit of this, a bit of that, some clothes, books, etc. Um, so yeah, okay. Right, first thing I want to show you in this haul is very random, but I like random. Um, Elvis. <laughs> Elvis. <laughs> Salt and pepper pots. Um, you want me to get them out of the box, I can tell. So basically, I was down the seaside the other day. I live in South End, so you know, the beach, seaside is, is very close to me. And I was vlogging. And while I was there, I went in this little gift shop and just kind of, you know, looked what they had about. And I saw these uh, novelty um, Elvis sort of pepper pots. And the reason I got them, not for me, they are for my dad. Uh, because my dad is a huge Elvis fan. And um, every, well, every birthday, Christmas, I always get him something Elvis related. And he's normally a bit like, what do I want that for? But I still do it every time because I just think it's funny and I've got a nasty sense of humour. <laughs> like, I've literally got him so many random Elvis things over the years. I'm trying to think of uh, an Elvis uh, washing up brush, um, a solar powered Elvis that kind of like swings. Oh, there's so much, so much Elvis goodness I've got him. Um, but I've never got him these. And they're, they're, they, to be fair, they are quite cool. I don't want to get them out too much because they're all wrapped up nice in the bubble wrap. But yeah, you can see um, the Elvis is there ready to... Uh, put the salt and pepper on I'm gonna put them away for his birthday in June I spoke to him yesterday on the phone and I was like oh I got your well one of your birthday presents today and he was like really excited like, oh what is it what is it I was like oh you'll just have to wait and see I know he's gonna be like what do I want that for um but anyway I thought it was quite funny and um yeah they were like seven quid which I didn't think was too bad because they obviously are brand new and they are novelty and yeah I thought it was good so that is that um next up i know i'm 42 years old or as i like to say 42 years young <laughs> but i love i love doll, dolls i love dolls i love teddy bears and i love all things barbie related okay um apparently there's going to be a barbie film like actual real person barbie uh, next year but anyway um i found this in primark so a few weeks ago i'd already got a barbie t-shirt but then i saw this sweatshirt I hold it up in front of my head that i there we go, I'll move over there. You can kind of see me peering around. Um, look at this. I mean, you can't really see in this light, but it's very sparkly as well. It's got the Barbies on. Very cool outfits, I have to say. And it's bright pink. And I just, I just love it. It's so me. Um, and yes, I'm a big kid, but I don't care. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's loads of Barbie stuff everywhere. Uh, Primark, by the way, this is where I got this from. Uh, Primark are doing loads of like, Barbie stuff like hair brushes, makeup stuff, clothing, etc. Um, so yeah, I just I just love this. It's so nice. And it fits really well as well. So that's that. Um, this I got, I'm just picking random stuff up here. This I got in a charity shop. So normally when I go charity shopping, I am kind of looking for stuff to sell on eBay because I'm an eBay reseller. Uh, but I also find, you know, stuff for myself now and again, books, clothes, etc. Um, and I found this, I really loved it and I tried it on and it fits really well. So I'm going to keep it. It's going to be great for summer. So originally it's from uh, George, which is Asda. And it's this like strappy vest top thing. How else I could call it? Strappy vest top. And it's just really cool. I love the colouring of it, like the black and yellow and that kind of animal print. It's giving me kind of like, I know, punk vibes. Um, and if you're old enough to remember Gem and the Holograms, it's kind of giving me um, 
pizzazz vibes as well. Um, if you don't remember Gem and the Holograms, uh, look her up on YouTube or, or Google or whatever. You'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I just really like it. I think it's really cool and it fits really well. I can't remember how much I paid for it, to be fair. I think it was like three quid or something, but I'm happy with that. Um, okay, I got myself a new lipstick. Um, I saw this colour. I was in Savers getting something for Nathan and when I was in the queue I just happened to look over at the makeup stand and I saw these like new lipsticks had come in and they're like long lasting etc. They always say that don't they when they're trying to sell makeup long lasting. Um, whether it's true or not I don't know but you know this is from Rimmel so you know it's quite cheap. Um, I'm trying to see the name of it. I haven't got my glasses. Oh Pink Blush it is called Pink Blush. And I just really like the colour of this one because it's just so kind of like, I don't know, just really nice and natural. Excuse my horrible nails. I do need to paint them today. Um, but yeah, just really nice colour. As you can see, I've used it a couple of times. But yeah, it's just like natural, like not too in your face pink. I mean, I have got some pink lipsticks that are really kind of ultra neon, like bright pink. This is just kind of like rosy, natural Kind of english rose pink i suppose i don't know um but yeah so i got that i can't remember how much that was i think it's about a fiver uh just under maybe um but yeah but yeah uh okay oh got some nail polish uh the other day this was from uh poundland it was a pound um time to shine gloss quick dry nail color and it's this lovely like sparkly gold color which i really like um and it, yeah, it looks really good. I can't show you, obviously, on my nails because I've got polish on already. But trust me, it's really good. It's got a nice shimmer to it. Very sparkly. Um, hold on, I'll just take it out on the brush there. You can see. But, oh, don't have to drip on the carpet. Uh, but, yeah, it's really nice. I do actually really like Poundland's um, nail polishes. They're actually okay. Um, I know people are like, oh, they're only a pound. They're not going to be that great. But they actually last for me anyway. They last quite a few days. You know, some of the expensive nail polishes I've had in the past don't really last that long either. So, you know, and they do some really nice colours in there. So, yeah. Also in Poundland, I picked up this. I don't know where the lid's gone. I did have, like, the little lid. I don't know where it's gone. It's somewhere or it's gone in the bin. I don't know. Um, This is Fabulosa. Fabulosa. I can't say it. Fabulosa. Fabulosa. Anyway, um, I know they do a lot of <laughs> cleaning stuff. They've just bought out, I assume, because I've never seen it before, um this new kind of like uh trainer spray to make your trainers sneakers whatever you want to say uh smell nice uh sanitize them make them smell nice um it says eliminate odors leaving your shoes smelling sweet so yeah it's good uh, they had different like scents and stuff but i went for this one i sprayed a few of them and i preferred this one this one's called electrify um and it just yeah it says here um sweet feet <laughs> so yeah some of my trainers like, I'm not going to go into it but like you know when you wear them a lot you get that kind of whiff you do that get that whiff now I've always disagreed with my mum because she says I can put my trainers in the washing machine um and I never have because I don't want to ruin my trainers let me know in the comments section down below if you don't mind sharing your information have you ever put your trainers in the washing machine and, and it's like has, has it damaged them or are they okay I don't know um but I thought you know, I could just use something like this, give them a good little spray and, and make them nice and sanitised and clean. And talking about trainers, I have two new pairs of trainers to show you. Um, so as I say, these are all kind of recent-ish buys. I think I've got these like a couple of weeks ago. Now, I know that this is odd, but I think I'm in love with a pair of trainers. I'm sorry, Nathan, don't be jealous. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I literally, I have four trainers for years, different trainers, and... Oh my god, these are, I would say, the most comfortable ever trainers that I've worn. Um, I've been doing a lot of walking lately, and I just, normally when I've done a lot of walking in my trainers, I get home and my feet like achy and stuff, or I'll get like little blisters come up. None of that. These are so comfy. They have got uh, memory foam in them, and they are these. They are feeler trainers. Now, I've never wore any, like, anything feeler, to be fair. Um, and I think now I'm, I'm like a convert to all things feel. I'm looking at like feeler bags, feeler hats. I know it's a bit weird, but anyway. But these are just really nice. So, yeah, these are from, I can't remember how to pronounce it properly. They're the German shoe shop is what I always call it. I think it's Deutschmann. Is it Deutschmann or something like that? Uh, Deutschmann? I don't know. 
but they're really nice people in there. Can I just say, all the staff that have ever like been in there when I've gone in looking for shoes and trainers and stuff, have always been super friendly, super nice, really helpful and stuff as well. And, you know, I'm quite funny, you know, I'm like trying things on and then I'm like, no, it's no good. And they're always like really accommodating and helpful. So thank you to those nice staff. Um, and these are just fantastic. They really are. I paid the extra three quid. Um, it was three quid to have, I can't remember the name of it, it's a special stuff they do. They put your trainers that are new in the machine and it does something to help protect them and stuff. Um, so obviously they're a bit dirty because I've been walking in them. But you can see they've got some nice grip, good grip, uh, <laughs> grip underneath. And in here, I wish you could feel, they are super, super soft and squishy. But not in a horrible kind of, oh, it feels squishy. But in a kind of, it's supporting your foot, but it's still nice and squishy, comfortable. Anyway, um, and they've got this lovely mesh into to them. And so... You can feel when like the air is coming through, like you can feel the air through the little mesh holes going onto your, your feet. It's very cooling. It's very nice. Anyway, so yeah, they are my new feelers. And there's a special deal going on where you get two pairs and the second pair is half price. So I think I've got those, I think they ended up being for like 12 or 14 quid. Um, the other ones I got in that deal, the, the, the dearer ones, but even they weren't that expensive, you know, for some of these trainers, like I've seen, they're like, like over a hundred quid. I'm like, what? So, you know, I think these are like 30 odd quid, which I think is perfect. You know, it's a nice price to pay. And these are also feelers, but they're black and white. Um, also paid the extra to have the um, solution put over them. I think you can go back. I think in like three or four months, if you want to, you can go back and have it put on again. I probably won't. Um, sorry about the dirt on the bottom, but as I say, I've been walking in them. At least it proves I've been walking. <laughs> they're not clean. Um, but yeah, you can see the... A different style obviously to those but they still have got a little bit of that mesh in there so i can feel like the nice cool breeze coming through onto my feet um but i, I like these and i like those and i'm really happy there are some more shoes coming up like sandals but i'll show you those in a bit um i can do some books now i'm liking to like mix this up a bit so it's not all the same in a row I have some new books and I have some second hand books, but they're all new to me. Um, so first of all, from the charity shop, I've got Happiness Is, 500 Things to Be Happy About. This is a cute little book. I paid like 25p for this and um, was it 50p? I can't remember, but it wasn't anything more than that. Um, super cute. Sometimes I think we all need a bit of happiness in our life. And, you know, you might watch me and think, oh, Minx Laura, she's really fun and happy. Most of the time I am, but sometimes I can be super moody and miserable and just like, mm, you know, so <laughs> so I needed something that I could, you know, make myself happy and, and give me little tips on how to be happy. And there's such cute little um, drawings in here and stuff. They're really, really cute artwork. And it also gives you ideas for things you can do. Um, so I thought I could do a video on this. Um, that's what I've got planned. So look out for it if you're interested of you know 500 things to be happy about we can go through the book together to see if you know i do any of those or i would do any of those if you do that that kind of thing um so yeah i thought it was pretty cute that's that i also picked up the music shop by rachel joyce now every time i go in the charity shop i see this book and i'm like should i get it should i not and i i don't know something about it this week made me think i'm gonna get it 50p um it's a little bit battered and stuff but it's all good doesn't bother me um and yeah it just sounds really cute it's set in the 80s i love books set in the 80s and, and 90s but um yeah it's about this girl i think it's like a romance and this girl and she goes to a music shop and anyway that's that <laughs> i'm not gonna go too much into my books now um i might do a new book haul video soon so if you are interested in my book related videos um hope some of you are there will be as i say a new book call and i'll go into more depth about the book so look out for that but um yeah another book that i got this i actually got today from waterstones it was a pound um it's one of those quick reads they bring out new quick reads every year uh different authors uh bring them out and this time it's paula hawkins she's got one um this is called blind spot so if you know paula hawkins uh she wrote go on the train the one i like best though was a slow fire burning absolutely love that um, but yeah, this is just a little, I mean, a little quick read. I mean, I'm halfway through. I had to start it today because I love her books. And I'm already like no, pretty much halfway through. I'll get that done at some point today. Um, but yeah, it's really good. I love thrillers. I turn into to, uh, Detective Laura. Another one I picked up at the charity shop was Frederick Baxman's uh, Anxious People. 
ironically uh, I am an anxious person <laughs> so an anxious person reading a book about anxious people so this is really interesting and it's been on my radar for quite some time so the fact I got it for like 50p was a bargain um it says here I think yeah there's a there's a robbery a robbery takes place and people are obviously held up in this apartment like where it's happening I'm not too sure but anyway it sounds really good uh, is what I'm trying to say and I really like the uh, the cover where they're all like looking out of um the window and stuff yeah it's something about a robbery hold on hold on because i'm gonna it's gonna annoy me otherwise a bank robber rushes in politely takes everyone hostage so yeah everyone's got their own dramas and their own life going on at the same time as this kind of whole robbery thing's happening so that's that okay next up i've got some perfume to show you perfume it felt like ages that i had not got new perfume um and basically a few weeks ago i had tidied up my perfume area and I just found all these old perfumes that had literally, literally been there like some years, not just old as in our few months, like years. And they were out of date. They were smelling disgusting. And they was like, oh, not good either. I mean, even the ones that didn't smell that bad after the long time I'd had them, I was like, hmm, I've had that a long while. Do I really want to put that all over my skin? It's probably not for the best. I don't know if perfumes, you know, like makeup and stuff, does, do they have like, um, a date where you shouldn't use it like use by date or not i don't know let me know if you know but i just thought for the skin it's not good and also if they smell disgusting so you know over the next few months i really want to kind of try and start getting some new perfumes back because uh, i literally got rid of them all i think i've got like three now and these are two of them um <laughs> so the first new perfume i got i got from next this is called just pink obviously it's not in the box now or anything um because i've throw you know, the box away but yeah this is beautiful this smells very similar to a uh, Ralph Lauren romance which I would say is in my top five perfumes ever however it's so expensive to buy like I think of a bottle of it, it's like 70 quid come on that's not on uh, come on um so yeah I th this was a tenner instead um and I got the this is the 100 ml bottle and I, I swear to you it's so nice it literally huh it literally smells like Ralph Lauren romance seriously um so yeah that is that from next and also i got this from the perfume shop and this is ceruti 1881 i have worn this perfume since i was a teenager well not not this actual one because that'd be that'd be really old bottle if i'd wore it that long as in the scent <laughs> my ex-best friend who i don't talk to anymore long story won't go into it she used to wear it and she kind of got me into it and then i just got obsessed with it and wore it ever since so um if you've not smelt it honestly it is amazing it's got like a mm, like a peachy I don't know how to describe it just fruity kind of vibe but it's really nice they do do different sizes obviously but this is I think I think this was the 100 mils as well I can't remember but anyway so yeah I got that from um the perfume shop okay we've got a bag here I'm gonna delve in this bag hope you're enjoying the video by the way um right next up this is a little gift oh, actually I've got to post this tomorrow pleased to found this um yeah so basically one of my viewers i'm not gonna give names or information because they might not want me to so i'm just gonna say one of my lovely viewers who i've known for a long time um her little girl has recently had an operation and she's been very brave and she's so adorable um and i, I said can i just get her a little present to like post off to her um and she's like oh that's really sweet of you blah 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 anyway so i then said what kind of stuff is she into she said she was into like stickers books dinosaurs but I looked at the books and I was like, I don't know like what kind of books this little girl's going to like kind of thing. But I know she likes dinosaurs. So I'm all good. And I found this little dinosaur. It's only from Poundland. It's nothing like spectacular. But who cares? Like kids love stuff. I love stuff. Doesn't bother me where it comes from. Um, and it's a little prehistoric um, like figure of the dinosaur, like pinky greeny colour. And oh, there you go. On the back it says uh, all the different dinosaurs that you can collect. Apparently this one is a Stegosaurus. Is that how you say it? Stegosaurus. I don't really know much about dinosaurs. Nathan does. He's he's really clever with all his dinosaurs. Dinosaur. Dinosaur stuff. But I, I don't think I can pronounce these. <laughs> so we've got the Stegosaurus. The Velo... Ve <laughs> Velocraptor? Velo... Velo... Vel Veliocraptor. Uh, at, at Apatosaurus. <laughs> Passosaurus, yeah, Tri Tyrannosaurus, I'll do that one. Anyway, a dinosaur, and I'll leave that over there actually because I've got to post that off. 
tomorrow. Um, <laughs> so next up from Waterstones, I got this. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, I am obsessed with all things Heartstopper. Uh, basically, if you don't know, Heartstopper is a set of graphic novels wrote by Alice Oseman. I've read them all. I love them. Uh, I think the new one comes out uh, this year. I think it's like a yearbook style kind of book. Anyway, so yeah, absolutely brilliant books. They're so cute and I love the characters and all, all things Heartstopper. New series as well started on Netflix, which I'll tell you about in a bit because I do have a Netflix voucher to show you. Um, but yeah, so this is the Heartstopper colouring book. And also, you don't just get things to colour. That's originally what I thought it was. But you also get never before seen images. So you get like, you know, different pictures of the characters, different little stories and stuff. So yeah, I can resist it. I absolutely love Heartstopper. Seriously. Uh, Nick and Charlie are, I just, I love them so much together. But yeah, this is going to be so fun to just sit and colour. And I was thinking like some of the pictures that I really like, if I do them well, if I manage to colour them in well, um, I can put them up on the wall in work or something. So yeah, and it would be really good for my anxiety. You know, I mean, it's very calming to sit and do colouring. And also I might do this in like an ASMR video on my other channel, like sit and colouring or something. I don't know. Maybe on this channel I could do a live stream colouring. Anyway, so many opportunities. But um, I did pick up some colouring pencils as well to go with it because I have got colouring pencils somewhere but they're really old and probably broken, not that great and I just thought if I want this to look good I want it to be proper nice pencils and um, I need to find a sharpener. I have got a sharpener somewhere. Um, but yeah, these were from WH Smith. Um, some of the sets they had were super expensive and I was like, oh no, I don't want that. These were like four quid or something so I was like, okay. And look at all the colours that you get. Um, really, really nice. I'm loving these, really nice colours, different shades and stuff. Um, so yeah, I've got my heart stop book and my colouring pencils. I really want to start getting into, you know, doing more kind of relaxing things again, I think. My anxiety has been a bit, and stress levels have been high, so I need to do things that calm me down um, and distract you from your, your worries and your stress. I think like colouring, obviously reading I do all the time, um just being creative you know going for walks and stuff you know it really helps so yeah anyway right next up i have another book this one i got from waterstones today and it's called the music of what happens by bill konigsberg i think that's how you say his name cute cover this kind of give me heartstopper vibes and that's why i got it because i literally looked at that and just i don't know i just i picked up kind of heart, um heartstopper vibes and i was like mm. So yeah, I think it's told by both the characters. Um, oh no, maybe not. Maybe there's a few more characters. Oh no, Jordan and Max, yeah. So it's a romance and LGBTQI plus uh, themed. And it just looks super cute. And sometimes I just like a super cute romance book. I don't always like dark, scary thrillers. Eh. <laughs> Next up from Primark, I've got this t-shirt. Um, it's it's not particularly exciting. You might be like, oh, that's a bit boring. But there we go. It's just a literally a plain blue t-shirt. It costs me four pound, and yeah, it's just literally there's nothing on it. There's no design or anything. It's literally like a I don't know. Would you call that royal blue? Maybe bright blue. Um, but I just really like it. Oh, I know what I've got recently. I can show you that in a minute. But anyway, um, yeah, it's just a plain blue t-shirt. I was looking for a blue t-shirt and I found one. Um, also got this t-shirt here so this was eight pound and here's the thing right so this is also from Primark and it's um, Yale, Yale University, I'm going to Yale um, and I'll be honest with you the only reason I wanted this because I'll be honest is it's got uh, Hebrew I know it's on their, is it, I don't know what you call it, their emblem, their logo, their motif, I don't know um, but yeah I, I, I love the the little book with the Hebrew in. Um, I am Jewish, which if you probably know by now if you're a regular viewer because I've gone about it all the time. Jew, 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 this, this, this. But I am Jewish, if you don't know, you know now. Not full on religious or anything, but anyway. Um, but I'm just, <laughs> I really love it. And I actually love the look of Hebrew writing. I think it looks really nice. But anyway, um, but the thing is, it's a crop top, so it's a little bit short. So originally when I tried it on uh, last week, I didn't get it because I was like, oh no, it's a bit too short. Mm. Um, but then I thought today, actually, it fits really nice, like it's nice and loose, it's just a bit short. I could wear it with like a, just a plain vest top under it, so either white or, or black or navy or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I'll create my own fashion. 
Um, and yeah, and also, no, hold on. What drawer is it in? I don't want to catch my fingers. Ah, oh, found them. <laughs> They're coming out. Yeah, I got these. I forgot. It's only when I said about the blue t-shirt, because I thought blue would go really well with it. Um, I got these in Poundland, Pep Co. yesterday. Um, these were £6. And they are camo style leggings. You're either going to love them or you're going to hate them, I'll be honest. Nathan keeps winding me up saying, oh, are you going hunting? Or um, I can't see you because you're in camouflage, yeah. But I really like them and they're really comfy. And for me, like with camo, you can either rock it up or you can just casual it. You know, I, I could wear this with like, you know, this, like just casual with some like trainers or whatever. Or I could wear it with like, I don't know, my Guns N' Roses t-shirt or my Nirvana t-shirt and some boots and just like rock it up. Maybe. I don't know. I've got my own fashion, okay? I don't, I don't follow what's on trend. I make my own fashion. Um, oh. Book. I got this for 25p today in the library book sale. The library has bought back its book sale area, which is very deadly for me. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. They like, just have a little section where there's books that obviously people don't really rent out as much anymore, so they're just getting rid of. For like 20, was it 25p uh, for paperbacks, 50p for hardbacks. And so I picked up Sue Fulton's The Birthday Girl. She's in for a killer surprise. I don't think she's going to get a good birthday. I'm, I'm picking up vibes that she's not going to have a happy birthday. Four friends, a party to die for, who will survive? Um, I've got so many books that are similar to this, where they go into this, like, cottage in a remote, you know, area of a forest or something, and they all go as friends, and then they start being murdered. But I, I just really enjoy them sort of books. That sounds really horrible, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> I enjoy books of bad people getting murdered. No, I just really enjoy thrillers and, you know, the element of they were friends, but something's happened and now they're not. And then, anyway, it was 25p. Uh, also, in the uh, library, library book sale, they had magazines for 10p. So these old magazines, like, let's have a look at this. I mean, this one's from October 2020. So these are old, but they're 10p each. And, you know, you can still read the articles, like it doesn't matter about when it is kind of thing. Um, so I've got Spirit and Destiny, which is, I love Spirit and Destiny. It's one of my favourite magazines. And if it wasn't so expensive, I'd definitely buy it more regular. Um, but yeah, like this has got different things about like, you know, mystical stuff in it. And I love that. How to choose the right crystal. Um, different things about manifestation of success, happiness. It's just really cool to, you know, sit and look through and stuff. I love all things, like, mystical. Um, I mean, obviously the star sign's going to be no good because this would have obviously happened. But anything else, like, article-wise is fine. And the other one I picked up is Natural Health, um, which says, like, natural therapies, beauty, wellness, spirituality, stress-free in seconds. I'll have to read that article. <laughs> How to get a good night's sleep, uh, meditation. And also in here, there was this, I think they put that in there by accident because that's not natural health. Anyway, they've obviously got another magazine in here. Um, it's Soul Sessions, How to Create Clear, clear and Calm Your Mind. So these are like yoga things, like positions of yoga and like, oh, here we go. I thought we could try that together in a video. Like I could try and do these yoga poses and make you laugh <laughs> no i think yoga is really cool um but yeah there's just some really nice little articles in these and there, there i am look me sitting there in me in me position of calm um but yeah 10p magazines it's all good um next up i've got another book this is one that i'd pre-ordered and i picked up from waterstones today um me and pre-orders are not good we're not friends. Uh, <laughs> basically, I'll sit there when I'm bored or just, you know, in the mood to look up books. And I'm like, on Waterstones website, oh, it's not coming out yet. It's not coming out till next year or next month or whatever. And I click and I pre-order. The money doesn't come out there and then. So I don't notice it. I'm like, oh, that's all right. You know, I haven't paid anything. And then obviously when the books do come out, that's when the money gets taken out. That is... <laughs> It's when it all, like, I nearly swore then when S hits the fan because my bank balance is like, do, 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 because all the books come out, you know, the money comes out when they're out. Anyway, but in May, I've got about, oh God, I've got about six coming out in May. 
that I pre-ordered. Some of them I pre-ordered like last year. So anyway, this is one of them. Uh, the first of many. Hotel uh, Magnific Magnific. I still can't say it. Magnific. Magnific. Yeah. Um, this is by Emily J. Taylor. This cover is beautiful. Um, I love the key on the necklace there. So yeah, this is. I'm thinking if it's the one I remember. This is like a circus. But in a hotel like magic kind of hotel instead of being like a magical circus it's a magical hotel um it says here um hotel magnifique is hiring interested parties inquire tomorrow at noon pack a bag for elsewhere and prepare to depart by midnight i'm yeah i'm sure this was the yeah magical world of golden ceilings enchanting soirees and fountains flowing with champagne yeah I'm liking the sound of this. I've had that on my want to read list for so long. And it came out in America, I think, last month. And I was really jealous seeing people talking about it and showing it. And I was like, eh. But now I've got it in the UK, so it's all good. Um, right. I'm going to get through these things quickly because I don't want you to get bored. Netflix voucher. Yes. Uh, I'm going to ask my lovely fiancé, Nathan, to put this on for us tonight. Um, because I'm desperate 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 to see heartstopper as i said um it's now the series it's gonna be so weird to see the characters that i know and love from the books like on screen and anyway it just yeah i've seen like some trailers of it and it looks amazing but there's other stuff on netflix that you know i want to see uh there's films that i because we haven't had netflix for ages um it just got so expensive i mean we've got discovery plus and we've got you know we've got sky but netflix is like mm. You know, there's always things that you kind of want to watch, but it's like not that bothered about as well kind of thing. But we were like, wait till something we really both want's on there and then we'll kind of do it. So we've got the next Netflix voucher. It only lasts a month. Um, so we're going to literally try and binge watch anything that we've not caught up with in the last few months and just kind of get them all watched. Um, so yeah, I've got a hard stopper. I think there's... Um, one of us is lying. I think that's on there. Karen McManus it was turned into a film. So I want to watch that. Um, and there's probably some stuff that I don't even know was on there. So we'll have a good uh, good binge watch of Netflix the next month. Um, also, I got this sweatshirt today from Primark. I was very naughty. This was £12. And I was like, mm. I didn't want to get any new sweatshirts because it's going to be hot weather soon. I know it's a bit cold tonight. But in general, it's, it's going to get hot, right? But <laughs> I saw this, right, and I, I could not not get it. It's, it's, it. it's literally got Laura wrote all over it. Well, not, it hasn't got the word Laura wrote all over it, but you know what I mean. I'm getting it. This is my jam. This is my vibe. I love the colouring. Look at the... Oh, my God, it's so cool. So it's like, for me, 90s style. Um, I love the fact that it's got one pink sleeve. Oh, one blue sleeve. And on it... It says Beverly Hills, um, which always reminds me of my one of my favourite TV shows back in the day, Beverly Hills 90210. Brendan. Oh, actually, I think I prefer Dylan. Dylan was the bad boy, wasn't he? Yeah, I prefer Dylan. Anyway, um, but yeah, and Shannon to her tea. She was nice as well. But um, yeah, how could you not love this? And I tried it on in the fitting room and it fits so good. Like, it's so perfect fit. It's not too big, it's not too small, it's just right. So I'm in Goldilocks and three bears. But yeah, I was really happy because I managed to get it in a size large instead of XL. I tried the XL and it was way too baggy, but the large fit me better. So that made me happy. And then I come back and had a big bar of chocolate. No, I'm not kidding. Um, right, what else have I got? A couple of things left. Oh yeah, Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross, paint by numbers. This I got from Waterstones today. I plan on doing this in an ASMR video. Um, as I said before about getting into more kind of relaxa relaxation things like painting and, and drawing, colouring, whatever. Um, this is a little set and you get um, three pre-printed canvases with numbered sections. So you know what colours to put where, right? Um, you get a seven paint pots, you get the paintbrush and a little cute little mini easel. Um, so it shows you there what you get at the back. I love Bob Ross. Um, I love his artwork. I th this is something so relaxing about him. He is obviously the original ASMR king. Um, and I just saw this and I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. So yeah, I can sit and do that. You know, have a nice cup of tea next to me, do some painting, just really chill, and hopefully 
get a good ASMR video out of it as well so people can enjoy what I'm doing. I mean, I'll probably mess it up and it look terrible, but hopefully I can create those happy little trees. <laughs> happy little trees. Um, oh yeah, I've got some shorts. I've got two things left to show you. I've got some shorts. Um, I'm, look, I'll be honest with you. I'm a chubby girl. It, well, I think you can probably tell that. It's not a surprise. I'm chubby, right? But I've always had a bit of an issue with wearing shorts out and about. Um, I wear shorts in the house, like walking around the house. I'm like, you know, I don't care. But in public, I'm like, I'm not confident enough to walk around in shorts. This is not happening. And every year I just get so hot. And I, I see girls my similar size, bigger than me, wearing shorts. And they don't give a damn. They're like out and about. And they're like, yeah, I've got shorts on. And I'm just like, I want to wear shorts, but I can't because I hate myself. So that's going to stop now. I'm a curvy girl and I'm going to wear shorts. Round of applause for myself. Anyway, um, but yeah, I really, really like these. They're only a fiver, I think, or four. Five. Hold on. Ah, they were five. So, yeah, they're just kind of like, they look, it looks like a skirt, but it is in fact shorts. But they're not too short, 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 short. They're just kind of like, they are above the knee. Well, I'd have preferred them a little bit longer, but they are above the knee, but they're, they're quite flattering. I thought, with just like a black vest or a red vest or a green vest, um, I just thought they'd look nice in the summer and I'm sick of just, you know, caring what other people think. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you also from Primark are these sandals, which I have been living in for the past week or so. So they do look a little bit grubby now. But as I say, like the trainers, it's proving I'm walking. So, hmm, hmm. Um, these are walking sandals from Primark. They were £14. And I've been looking for some really good, decent walking sandals for ages. I've got other sandals that, you know, they look really pretty and sparkly, but, you know, once I've walked in them for a few hours, my feet are hurting, blisters are coming up, it's not good, right? Um, so I wanted some sandals to which they looked okay, though they look awful or anything, but the main thing was that they were comfortable for walking, give good support. And I, I saw these, they're literally new, they've just come in like Primark in the last week or so. Um, and they are, yeah, walking sandals. So as you can see... They've got the grip under there. Once again, sorry about the bits of dirt where I've been walking. But really good grip for sandals. Um, and also, like, they've got this arched bit here. I don't know if you can really see that. It's like an arch bit. So it's really good support for your foot. And I love the Velcro. You've got one, two, three Velcro bits here. Um, because sometimes, you know, when you, you, your, your body temperature changes, well, for me anyway, sometimes my feet feel a bit bigger and then they go back to normal. And I don't know, it's weird. But I like the fact you can change this bit, make it not so tight, not so loose. Um, and they're just, honestly, they are super comfortable. If you're looking for a pair of, you know, cheapish walking sandals, I really recommend these from Primark. So, yeah, 14 quid. They've got, um, like, grip inside as well, if you can see in there. So, you know, sometimes in sandals, um, your feet kind of slide about. Mm -mm -mm, not in these. They are fantastic. I should, I should, pay, I should be paid by Primark. I'm promoting them so much, <laughs> but honestly, they are really, really good. So there you have it. That is the end of the haul. Uh, the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've had a mixture of things to show you, and and I, I do apologise. There's not as many shopping haul videos as there used to be. Um, but you know, back in the day, I would literally, I, I wouldn't need anything, but I would just go on a Poundland or whatever and just buy a load of random crap just so i could be like oh i've got a video of a poundland haul yes it would get lots of views compared to other videos that i do i.e my book videos but i was just number one spending silly amounts of money and, and number two spending it on stuff i didn't need i didn't want really um and it's just it was silly so yes there'll be shopping hauls but I'd, i like prefer to do it like this if you're okay with that as well my lovely viewers where I just kind of get stuff that I've got recently and put them all in a haul um I mean obviously if I did ever go Poundland and spent like I don't know 20 quid on a good few amount of things and yeah I'm cool with doing a, a haul or something um but yeah I think it's more sensible money wise and you know there we go <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed watching if you have please click like and comment and share on your community tabs and social media and subscribe to my channel that'd be fantastic if you would if you're new here welcome if you're not new welcome back um 
I've actually got quite hot now. I've been filming for ages, so I'm going to take this off, actually. No, I'll wait till I've stopped filming, because once before I took my top off and the other top underneath got stuck to it. Anyway, I won't go into that. So I'll wait a moment. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Also, come check out my other channel, Minx Laura 123 ASMR. Links down below to that. And uh, all my social media down below. Twitter, Instagram, and tickety TikTok. Oh, and if you're a bookworm, come and follow me on Goodreads. So, um, yeah. Anyway, everyone, let me know in the comment section what you like the best and if you put your trainers in the washing machine or not um, and anything else you want to say. I love your comments, so please leave me a comment. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands. It's very creepy. <laughs> Whatever. Peace. See you later.